They did, I think, Joe Torrey. They did Chris Thomas. And they wasn't getting successful crowds in there. And so they was going to shut it down. And Steve Harvey was the next person up. So Steve Harvey came in, and they didn't tell him that they was going to shut it down. And Steve said, no, 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 man, don't, don't shut it down. Don't, no, 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 give me, say, get me on the radio. He said, get me on the radio. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, so let's go back a little bit. I want to go back to you working with Steve Harvey at uh, Buku Lounge. I want Buku Ray. Buku Ray. I want. I want to hear about that part. You know, like how was it working with Steve in these club? Not only Steve, but whoever else. Well, there'll be was it Nanette Lee or anybody that, who came through there. What was it like? What was that chemistry like? Man, it was hot, man. That's what I want to talk Buku, about. Buku Ray was hot. Uh, we had uh, Dallas Cowboys coming in there. We had uh, celebrities coming in there. Uh, people came to that area because it was really hot. And Steve, I mean, St Steve was the, the the force behind it because what, what Steve did, what happened when they started the Comedy View, I mean, the Buku Ray, when they started it, they did, I think, Joe Torrey. They did Chris Thomas. And they wasn't getting successful crowds in there. And so they was going to shut it down. And Steve Harvey was the next person up. So Steve Harvey came in and they didn't tell him that they was going to shut it down. And Steve said, no, 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 man, don't, don't shut it down. Don't, no, 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 give me, say, get me on the radio. He said, get me on the radio. And they hooked up with uh, Willis Johnson, KKDA. And Steve Harvey went on that radio. Bam. That's, that, that place started filling up. Wow. Filling up. And then Steve started bringing in some the top comedians, D.L. Hughley, uh, A.J. Jamal, uh, Bernie Mac. He started bringing them. He started bringing bringing them in, bringing them in. That place was rocking, rocking. It rocked from '92. I know from '92 till he left in, in, in November. Of what about a uh, Bernie Mac? You you brought his name. I'm a big Bernie Mac fan mm -hmm. as well. R.I.P. to Bernie Mac. Like, how was it? Did you get to meet and talk with Bernie Mac? Yeah, I talked with Bernie Mac. Okay, what was that conversation like? Man, not much. I mean, you know, very, he had very little words to say, but, you know, he was still developing his... his, his yeah, his, at that his, time, his, at that time itself, stage. You know, uh, uh, you know, but I didn't talk. I mean, I wasn't like a buddy, buddy. Yeah, yeah, buddy, just buddy, in passing like, or, or just standing passing. around conversation. But yeah, but, yeah, but you, you know, he, he was still like everybody. You know, like everybody else. What did you think when you seen how his career? Because I want to talk about him for a second. How his career blemished? You know, after I mean, you know, how it blew up after that. After what? After you know, after all the years, and you start seeing him on TV, you start because he passed away. Now I just want to know how how you thought what you thought about it. Well, you know the. To make it big, you got to have a you, you got to have an organization around you. Yeah, of course. You got to have a, a manager's talent. You know, there's a lot of deals that's made that you know to get you where you need to get to, and, and a lot of relationships that you have with other people. Uh, but Bernie Manic just had he had that flair, you know, where he just you know step kept on grinding, kept on grinding, kept on grinding, you know. But you know, he uh, Bernie Mac was on Def Jam twice. Thank you, goddammit. I know the first thing you say, that's a black motherfucker that came out here. Okay. He was at the first time, it was just just regular. Then the second time, when the person got booed, and he had to go out there, and he did, I ain't scared of you, mother. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. I'm going to tell you something straight off the motherfucking press. When he did that, that phrase right there, parallel, put him up there. That's what that put him phrase. Uh, That phrase, that attitude. See, because it's, it's not really the material, it's your confidence, your your swagger, your style. Yeah. All of that plays uh, uh, plays a part into it. And he did, when he did that, that that paralleled him right there. Wow, and so, and that took him to where he needed to be to that get took to him, notice. Yeah, yeah, it took him to uh, where he wanted to be. And then when the Kings of Comedy pulled, uh, they put all that Remember together. That? Uh, when they put that together, then, you know, Bernie Mac was the, was the strongest well, well, said say he really closed, but when they they edited, they made it Bernie Mac uh, look like the closer because they was he had the high uh, uh, pitch on it. But but you know, but Bernie Mac was was a, was a force. Yeah, Bernie Mac he was was, force. was a force. Uh, Steve being at that club and then leaving and you know he blew up. You went with him finally like you wanted to. 
I went see the thing with Steve. Steve was very helpful to me. Um, I, I, I got to give him his props. Yeah, he, he was very good helpful. Conversations he, and stuff. He, he, he was very. I didn't. I didn't talk. He didn't that. talk to him either. I talked. I mean, I, I'm a loner, man. So you didn't really talk with him. Well, I'm, this, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I don't really uh, get. I don't say get along with other comedians or get along with people. All my life has always been. A, I've been a sidekick to people. All my life has been like when my brother. Okay, if things you know, we did the partying thing, you know, so I was riding off of his thing when I was in the college. I was a guy who's a musician who did. The, I was riding off his thing when I was in elementary school. This guy named Keith, who was a fast track star. I was hanging, with him. but when I started saying something against a character that I didn't like, it didn't fit with mine, then I'm shunned. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I'm I'm shunned. So my thing was. I got to be my own self man and stand alone, whether it take me a hundred years or two years or whatever it is, I've got to be my own self man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.